An Air Force major accused of killing his wife has taken the stand in his own defense. On day six of his trial, Andre McDonald testified and McDonald faces uh, life in prison if convicted of murdering his wife, Andre Andreen, excuse me, in 2019. Ken's Five reporter Zach Briggs joins us live inside the Bear County Courthouse, where I understand the jury has already left for the day, Zach. Oh, that's right, Henry. Good evening. An argument in the bedroom turned deadly when Andre McDonald, the defendant, says he kicked Andreen multiple times while she was on the ground, but in self-defense. Now, take a look. Andre took the jury back to February 28, 2019, the day he learned about a business deal he says Andreen excluded him from. Andre says it was related to Andreen's growing business and the assisted living industry here in San Antonio. Andre says the relationship by this time had been toxic. They were sleeping in separate bedrooms at their home in North Bear County. Jump forward to midnight on March 1st, Andre says he came home to Andreen sitting on the couch in the living room. Andre claims she began shouting sexual obscenities toward him about him and his mother. Andre testified that he went to the master bedroom, which is where Andreen charged toward him and they clashed heads. At one point, Andre says he threw her to the ground while trying to dodge punches. Andre says he stomped on her body twice, leading to her wheezing and death. Andre says he doesn't know if their daughter Elena saw or heard what had happened around six years old at the time, Elena. Andre says he was frantic and didn't call for help, but began the process of disposing of his wife's body. The ranch land off Specht Road in Blanco is where Andre says he dumped Andre became even more angry and started hitting his wife's body with a hammer. He used the claw and like hit her in the neck area. And I remember the, the, the claw got stuck in like her neck. And then that's when I like, I was like ripping the, the, the hammer out. And the trial has wrapped up for the day and barring any weather related restrictions, they will be reconvening tomorrow to begin closing statements, potentially a verdict late afternoon. For now, we're live downtown. Zach Briggs, Ken's 5. All eyes will be on the courtroom. Thanks so much, Zach.